to the psychology of obesity. Now that you have learned in our previous video sessions some of the basic tools for overcoming obesity, we need to talk about the psychology of change and learn some basic motivational techniques to assist you with that change. Replacing one self-soothing activity for a more positive self-soothing activity is one of the easiest methods of changing behavior without disrupting the dialectic balance of restraint versus indulgence. But for many of us, replacing behavior is difficult and sometimes frightening. Food works. It increases endorphins, calms us down, and makes us feel better. And the long-term biological and physical difficulties associated with obesity seems far-reaching in relationship to the immediate emotional distress that you are experiencing. But once you discover that alternative self-soothing activities work just as well if not better than food, you will be on your way to permanent weight loss and physical well-being. But let's talk a little about change. Change is a process, not an event. One most widely applied and tested models of behavior change is the trans theoretical model, TTM. TTM presumes that at any given time, a person is in one of five stages of change pre contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, or maintenance. The idea is that people move from one stage to the next. Each stage is a preparation for the following one, so don't hurry through or skip any of the stages. This will likely result in setbacks and difficulties. Anyone motivated to change can use the TTM process to assess their situation and come up with strategies to move on to the next stage. Let us go through the stages of change and give some ideas about how people move through them. Pre-contemplation Pre-contemplation is just a fancy word to say that you're not really thinking about changing, but you are just becoming aware that something's not right, that there is a problem. To move past this stage you need to identify the problem, usually a behavior or unhelpful thinking style and consider changing that behavior or negative thinking. Contemplation In this stage, you are aware that the behavior is a problem and are considering doing something about it, but you still aren't committed to taking any action. Many of us get stuck in the second phase. We know we should change, we might even know how to change, and hopefully this website has given you some useful tools to help you change, but you still have not convinced yourself to change. There are several techniques to help people unstick themselves and move on to the next stage. One of the most popular is to make a list of the pros and cons of making a change. Yes, there are negative aspects about combating obesity. You will need to alter how you think about and use food as a self-soothing activity. You might need to change your lifestyle or habits, examine all the barriers, the cons, to changing and think about ways to overcome them. Preparation At this stage, you know you must change, believe you can, and are making plans to change soon. It's important to anticipate potential obstacles and create a realistic action plan with achievable goals. If you haven't already, finish your list of alternative self-soothing activities. Come up with at least 100 different activities. There are literally thousands. Find the ones that are most meaningful for you. Remember every activity is not appropriate for every situation, so the more activities you have on your list the greater potential you have in developing an activity appropriate for any given situation. Action At this stage, you've changed, you've begun to experience the challenges of life without the old behavior. You'll need to practice the alternatives you identified during the preparation stage. At this point, it's important to be clear about your motivation. If necessary, write down your reasons for making the change and read them every day. Engage in self-talk to bolster your resolve. Get some help. Let others know you're making a change. And finally, maintenance. Once you've practiced the new behavior change for at least six months, you're in the maintenance stage. Now you're working to prevent relapse and integrate the change into your life. 
that may require other changes, especially avoiding situations or triggers associated with the old habit. It can be tough, especially if it means steering clear of certain activities or friends while you work to fully assimilate your new, healthier habit. The path from one stage to the next is rarely straightforward. Most people relapse at some point and recycle through certain stages. Relapse is common, perhaps even inevitable. Experts urge people not to be troubled by it but to think of it as an integral part of the change process. You learn something about yourself each time you relapse. For example, you may find that the activity you adopted didn't fit into your life or suit your priorities. Next time, you can use what you learned, adjust, and be a little ahead of the game as you continue on the pathway to change. But you can change. You can overcome the psychology of obesity and live a healthy, happy life. In our next session, we will talk a little bit about some of the pitfalls and difficulties associated with change and give you some concrete suggestions to overcome those difficulties. So until next time, good luck. And thank you for visiting the psychology of obesity. <laughs>